I want to tell you real quick that not every person that um mimics you um or you know do what you do imitate you uh emulate you is jealous or envious of you some people admire you they look up to you you actually someone you're a role model you know they look at you and you set the bar and it's not because of nothing particularly that you said but it's how you live it's how you carry yourself it's what they see from you on a day-to-day -day basis but on the flip end you got some people that they, they become jealous of you because they see how other people love you. They see how you love people. They see how you carry yourself and they become jealous. There are some people out there that have friends that you may introduce them to people. You may actually uh, help them get jobs. You know, you may go um, over and beyond to assist them in their future and going to the next level but when you get somewhere you have a light which is the holy spirit which is god that's in you that shines so therefore people are drawn to you you are a magnet and you have this one particular friend that might get upset and kind of turn on you all because of they are territorial they want you to be all theirs they, they want you to be their friends and no one else's friend like they just have this claim to you that's not of god you know who this friend is that does this. And I want you to go into prayer and ask God to help you to decide what you need to do about that friend. With me, I'm a person that I normally leave people alone. And I become friendless. <laughs> but you might not want to do when I feel like you are a threat. Or I feel like you're not willing to change, you know, I leave you alone. But some people, it's not that easy. I've always been a loner, so it's easier for me. But some people, it's not. So someone may be dear to your heart, but you need to definitely go to God in prayer about that person being so territorial and not wanting you to be friends and talk to other people because it could be um, almost like a secret, you know, a secretive thing where they're in love with you. You know, and it could be same sex. It could be opposite sex, whatever. But sometimes people, you know, have these feelings for you that are not um, feelings that you're aware of. You know, and they could get very jealous about other people having bonds and relationships with you. So I'm just here to kind of bring that to your attention, make you more aware of it. And I want you to go to God with the strategy on how to deal with that person in those kind of situations. Okay, so I love you guys. Y'all be blessed. Shalom.